Take three. Yeah. You ever wonder what happened on the first two takes? Well, keep wondering. Anyway, we're, today we're going to learn how to look at a graph and tell if it's proportional or not. Bye, buddy. Good luck finding your dad. Okay, first of all, let's just get to the point here. In case you can just take a shortcut, we all like shortcuts. Here's the point. A graph is proportional if it passes through the origin and it's a straight line. Yay! You're done in world record time. Bye. If you are joining us for Site Council, we'll be in the library. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and roll with that, even with the announcement in the background, because I'm not on Site Council. Here we go. So, here's the long way to get there. Ah, well, first of all, to tell if something's proportional, we need to know what that means. So, let's do a little vocab review here. A proportion compares two ratios. Well, that's great. What's a ratio? Well, a comparison of two things written as a fraction. Ah, what would that look like? Well, think of equivalent fractions. For example, 1 half equals 3 sixths. Or sometimes when you're simplifying fractions, for example, if you had a 4 twelfths and say you divided both things, cut them in half, and you get 2 sixths, for example, that's what a ratio, each fraction is a ratio, and when I compare them together, it's a proportion, okay? So here's a ratio, 3 pigs, 4 dogs. A proportion would simply be if we made an equivalent fraction out of that. For example, if we had twice as many pigs and twice as many dogs, there's a proportion. So it all builds. Here's a proportion. A proportion is true if we have the same multiplier top and bottom. Top and bottom. Okay, so it all comes back to equivalent fractions. So ratio is one fraction, a fraction. A proportion is two fractions. And a proportion is true if those two fractions have the same multiplier. Like, for example, not all comparison of two ratios are proportions. Three-fourths and five-sixths is not a proportion, okay? So we're talking about ones that are true here, because this one is times 1.5, and this one is times 1.67. They don't have the same multiplier, so no, forget about that. Okay, so we have our vocab down. That's great. Let me remind you what the point is today. The point is a graph is proportional if it goes through the origin, and it is a straight line. Woo! All right, so we have our vocabulary connections here. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. What's a proportion look like when it's on a graph? Well, <clears throat> let's make a couple of quick graphs here. Since we're looking for origin and the line, we need to know where to find the origin on a graph. It's right there. It's the point where the x and the y axes intersect. Okay. And in case you're thinking axes is a funny word, let's take a little side trip into English language here. If you have one axis, example, the x-axis, or the y-axis, it's an axis. But if you have two axes, it's the plural, okay? Just in case that seemed funny. Anyway, there's the origin right there. So part of identifying proportion on a graph is simply, can you see a, can, does the uh, object on the graph pass through that point where the two axes intersect? And secondly, is it a line? Remember, a line goes forever, both directions, 
And we indicate that foreverness by putting the little arrows at the end of the line. Okay. So here's a nice, beautiful proportion. Yay! It passes through the origin, goes forever in both directions. Okay, we've got our two checkpoints. Do, do, do. Ooh, look at that one. Goes through the origin, and it goes forever in both directions. Check and check. We're just looking for those two things. It's a quick visual. How about... That. No! Because the origin is here and the line does not pass through it. That's a no. <clears throat> Excuse me. One other thing up here. Direction does not matter. Up or down? Does that matter? Does not matter. Okay? Some people think when it goes down from left to right, that changes things. It doesn't. It's still a line. It still goes through the origin. Let's do a couple more examples here. Do, 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 do. What about that? Well, that's a parabola. By definition, that's not a line, and it does not go through the origin. So it's not a line and no origin. So this one has two reasons why it's not proportional. Let's come up with a few that only have one reason why they're not proportional. So here's a parabola that goes through the origin. So this one is also a no, but it only has one reason, not a line. Sometimes you find yourself, you need to explain your answers in problems, and this is one where you, your explanation can have two things, or it can only have one thing. So we've covered all everything, right? We've got a no, because it doesn't go through the origin, but it is a straight line. We've got a no because it's not a line, even though it does go through the origin. And we've got a no for two reasons. Okay, so you need to be able to explain one reason or both reasons. Okay, be prepared for that, but just know that there's only two. And to get a yes out of the deal, has to pass through the origin and be a straight line, which gets us back to our point. Oh no, where's the point? I'm just looking for the point. There it is. There's the point. A graph is proportional if it passes through the origin and it's a straight line. 